This is the streets. The streets of Cleveland. Yeah, we at Taco Bell. They are piled up here, man. They are piled up here like this is the best spot in town. Hey, it's Ash. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this travel vlog. I just arrived in the middle of nowhere in Cleveland, Texas. I'm here for a family reunion and i um, gonna be around family. i um, gonna see what's in this rural, small little town. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take y'all around the rural parts of Texas. So I just got into the hotel, checked in, and I'm going into the room. All right, so this is the room. Let's check out the bathroom first. This is the, I guess the sitting part of the room. It's a suite, a king suite. All right, desk, TV, king size bed. See what the view is. Oh, <laughs> there barely is a view. <laughs> All right, so back in the car and heading to Samuel Wiley Park, where there will be a lot of family, food, fun, games, things like that. So let's see what Samuel Wiley Park got to offer. Definitely in the cut. Come on, Cleveland, come on, I see you, Cleveland. Out in the middle of nowhere. I like these kind of towns. Yeah. I think we are here. This is the streets, the streets of Cleveland. I'm scared about potential snakes in this tall grass. Yeah, I actually just met one. <laughs> snakes. Wait a minute, let me see. Let me sit down just a minute. All right. Yeah, we at Taco Bell. They are piled up here, man. Like, it's hard to see, but we're in this long line. They are piled up here like this is the best spot in town. It's lit at this Taco Bell. So, I'm eating Taco Bell. There's really not many vegan options in this city that I'm in. Chipotle is um, maybe 20, 15 to 20 minutes away, but unfortunately they were closed. And um, the other restaurant that does have some uh, veggie sushi options, they're closed too. So I opted for Taco Bell. And I think we're gonna go check out this Mexican restaurant just because it's so bright. The lights were really bright and it looked, it looked fun. It looked, it was like the most interesting thing on this street that we've been driving down. So we're gonna check out what's in there. Well, change of plans, they're closed. <laughs> Nothing's open. It's 10:40 and they close at 10:30. So we're just gonna head to the hotel instead. Change of plans. We decided to go to another spot called the Wagon Wheel. It looks like it's a restaurant, but turns into kind of a bar, live music venue type of place at night, and they close at 2 a.m. So we are heading there now.
Good morning from Cleveland, Texas, in the middle of nowhere. So that that little bar we went to last night, it was lit, okay? It was like in the middle of nowhere. It looked like it was gonna be, I mean, it's like kind of hole in the wall kind of place, but it was really fun. They were playing all the jams, like all the R&B jams. It was so much fun. All right, so we are here at breakfast. So let's see what I can get. So I actually just realized they have oatmeal and it's the original kind that doesn't have added sugar. So I'm just gonna make oatmeal. Yay! So I warmed up the oatmeal with water and I'm going to add a little bit of syrup, just a little bit to sweeten it up, just a little bit since I don't have things like cinnamon or agave or anything like that. This is so confusing. This is super confusing, baby, look. Non-dairy creamer. But then look. Milk. It contains milk. <laughs> That's what? I had a little bit of syrup to it. Ooh. Hopefully it's okay. Mm -hmm. Tastes pretty good. Do you think this is a granny smith apple? Hey, so it is several hours later. Did nothing but just kind of lay around today. Um, but getting on the elevator now. We have a family reunion function that we're going to, and it's from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. And child, you know, there's probably not going to be any vegan options there, so. We're gonna stop by Chipotle so that I can get something of substance to eat. Um, there may be like a veggie tray or a fruit tray at the function, but you know. So, gonna go grab some food and head there. In the car now. I think I forgot to mention, you know, because this is a very small rural town, there's not a lot of vegan, there's actually no vegan restaurants in this town. And we not, there's barely any restaurants here that have vegan options. So you just have to make with, make do with what you have. Um, the only place I found was Chipotle and then another restaurant called Sakara, I believe. It's a Japanese restaurant and they have veggie rolls and maybe like fried rice so you can kind of veganize some things so that's what happens when you're in a small rural town i'm just blessed that they have chipotle just thought of something chipotle is not even in the town <laughs> so you know the town is uh what's the town what's this town called this yeah this town is called cleveland that we're in 
they don't even have Chipotle. It's a town called New Caney or New Caney that we're going to that has Chipotle. It's about a 15 minute drive. Now that thou has Chipotle. So this is what I got from Chipotle. It is a salad or a bowl with veggies, sofritas, black beans, and a little bit of rice. to the family function now. So, I'll be back shortly. Where is this GPS taking us? And the cuts out here. That was such a random turn, right? All right, so we are out in the car again, heading to a restaurant called uh, Takara Sushi and Steakhouse. We're pulling up now and they sell sushi and Japanese food. Um, they have some vegan options or veggie options. They have uh, veggie sushi and uh, miso soup that's soy based. So gonna go in there and eat dinner and then see what else we're gonna get into for the evening. the next day and um, I am heading into church here in just a second this morning I had breakfast at the hotel ate my oatmeal was super excited that um, I, they had peanut butter I didn't realize that they had peanut butter yesterday I would have put that in my oatmeal yesterday too um, and I also did some working out this morning outside of the hotel unfortunately the fitness room was under construction so I couldn't go in there so I did some working out outside this morning and now I'm getting ready to go into the Lord's house. So let's get in there. It's in the way of the promise because Jericho is in the way yeah. All right. of what God had promised them. All right. Hey, so church has ended and we had a really good time in church. The service was really good. The singing was good. Um, and we also got to talk to family and know socialize and hug and say goodbyes a bit after church ended we went to none other chipotle to get something to eat i ended up getting um sofrita tacos and it was it was pretty good so we are on our way back to dallas now um i think the drive will be about i think it said about three hours and 50 minutes or so so we are heading there now and until next time, peace.